Hey guys, this is Brian. I uh, wanted to do a sales video for the month of October. Uh, things that sold um, all together at a pretty good month. I listed some more things for the first time in several months and, uh, and did pretty well. Uh, all together I think I spent like 60 bucks on everything that sold. And uh, you'll, you'll see the prices here. I'll try to say what each thing sold for. So uh, here we go. Uh, first of all, I got this hardcover book from the Easton Press. These are real collectible books. If you ever see these, they have uh, designs on them. I paid 50 cents for this at a sale, uh, along with some other books, and sold for 20 bucks. Um, I got this box of reel to reel tapes. Uh, they're all uh, recorded. Uh, they were blanks, but they were recorded on. So I uh, sold those for 30. I paid 5 bucks at an auction. Uh, garage door openers, got these for 50 cents at a garage sale. Uh, these always do really well, especially the universal ones, so if you ever see those, pick them up. Uh, they sold for 36. And I got this Bible, the same place I got the other 50 cent book. Uh, it was sealed, it was a large print study Bible. Sold that for $56. Uh, go up here, Beach Boys, Pet Sounds record. Uh, sold that for 30 bucks, I paid a dollar. I uh, got this lot of Sesame Street toys, which uh, I got with some other stuff. I paid five bucks for the whole box, and this part got twenty. Uh, I had some Jimi Hendrix albums, um, nothing really old. Uh, some newer stuff I sold for one hundred and ten dollars, and I paid fifty cents a piece for seven, so that was a really good deal. I paid three dollars and fifty cents. Um, these Smurfs actually came with the uh, Sesame Street stuff. That I sold for um, 20 bucks. These sold for 35, but the people never paid, so I ended up having to relist them. So you'll see that in a minute. Okay, um, this was a um, thing I picked up at a community yard sale. Paid two bucks for it. Um, ended up selling it for 60 bucks, so it was a really good deal. It was a campaign uh, button collection, but they were it was a you know reprint. It wasn't original. But anyway, 60 bucks was good. Okay, uh, I, I did a video a couple times back about the Covered Bridge Festival. And uh, so I, I paid $25 for a whole bag of campaign buttons. And uh, these are some of the ones I found. And I found this one. It was a Theodore Roosevelt, Teddy Roosevelt. Sold for $50.99. This one was in it as well. It was a... Uh, another Theodore Roosevelt campaign button sold for ninety six dollars. Uh, the Singer sewing machine button uh, sold for thirty dollars. Those are all included in the twenty five dollar lot. Uh, this Massey Harris uh, tractor uh, button sold for thirty nine dollars. Uh, these were in it as well. Uh, the random. Uh, these were Red Cross Santa Claus bu uh, buttons. They sold for ten. Uh, another Franklin Roosevelt sold for ten. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I, I sold some more, but in the meantime, here we have the vintage uh, electronic keyboard calculator for Casio. That's one of the little mini ones. Uh, I paid five bucks for that in auction, and uh, that sold for forty. More buttons here. These are uh, American flag buttons. Those were also part of the lot. Those sold for ten. Uh, so all together, you know, I made about $250 so far on the buttons, uh, and I got a lot left, so uh, that ended up being a really good pickup. The Smurfs, second time around, only sold for $15. Uh, I really wish the first people would have paid, but regardless, uh, $15, and I paid 5 bucks for the whole box, so I ended up getting 35 for everything. This camera didn't do as well as I thought it would, but it ended up doing all right. Um, I paid $5 for it, and I sold for $22.50. Uh, some film. I actually paid two bucks for a box of film uh, uh, a little while back, and I got ten for this, uh, ten for this, and then I, I thought there was some other film too, but I got ten dollars a piece for those. Um, Scrabble tiles got ten dollars for those. I actually found this tablet at the Goodwill outlet, throwing in the bins. Um, so I ended up getting fifty bucks for that. I only paid like three. Um, so it was a good deal. And then I got this uh, cut film developing tank. 
which I don't know why it didn't sell for that much. I'd seen a couple before it sell for 30 to 40. Uh, so I probably should have put that as a buy it now, but uh, I started at 9.99 and that's what it sold for. So regardless, uh, I ended up selling about well, $800, uh, $800 worth of items, uh, maybe a little bit more than that, and paid 60 bucks. Ended up being a, a pretty good month for me. I uh, picked up a lot of albums uh, that I'd uh, like to go through and maybe show. Um, if you guys aren't into uh, albums, that's that's kind of the things I've been looking for lately. So um, that be something that uh, you may want to start looking at uh, closely. Uh, a couple sites that I've been using to look up the albums I've been picking up are uh, Collector's Frenzy and Pop Psych. So if you guys don't already look at those, those are uh, really good sources for you know, looking that kind of stuff up. So, anyway, um, hope I was able to uh, show you guys something you may want to look out for. And uh, I'll look forward to uh, hearing from you guys uh, soon.